Mindshaper 1000 here. Today we got a couple things to do on this old Chevy Suburban here. It's got well over 200,000 miles on it. It's my niece's. We've done some work on it here before. We had to pull the center head off, you know, the intake and everything. But this is a little different. She's got a noise in the front end. So this is a uh, 2003, 2004. It's um, seventh month of 2003. So. I believe that would be a 2004, but right in that area, uh, if you got one of these, it'll pertain to you. So, let's see what this noise is she's talking about. She went and bought brake pads for the front and back, so let's see what's going on with it. Okay, guys. Now, I got you zoomed in quite a bit here, but... I jacked this up before I started the video and when I did the wheel kind of went like that so I was thinking well it must be a bad ball joint but look at this that wheels not loose but something is right I think it's the wheel bearing let's crawl under here and I'll show you why okay guys now I didn't bring my light out I forgot it so hopefully you can see right in there's the wheel bearings um this is set up for in case you have a four-wheel drive which she doesn't now that one over there in the center of it right about in that area there's a black cap on there but if you look at this let me turn it there we go okay so and if you can see that right down there, that blue, that means it's been hot. So, yeah, she's gonna need a wheel bearing. So, uh, she's got new brakes and rotors. I am gonna put, yeah, she wants a oil change too. She's, she's complaining she's going through a little bit of antifreeze once in a while, but she's never noticed any leak. Uh, and it's not smoking out the back, so I'm not sure about that. But anyway, that's what she's looking at on this side. Of course, we're not going to replace these right now because that all has to come off. To she's going to need one of these absolutely, positively for sure. So, and she lives about a mile away from here, or not a mile away, an hour and something away from here. So. Uh, that's her noise. Um, yeah. Alright, let me, uh, let's go ahead and pull the wheel off, and I'm gonna go ahead and check on some, see kind of what that costs for her, so. Alright, I'll be back with you guys. Hang, hang loose. Get it. Loose. Okay, guys, so she's gonna go, I guess she's gonna pick up a wheel bearing. Uh, first thing I wanna do, is I wanna unplug the, uh, ABS sensor, it's right here, it's up above the uh, shock there. I got a nim. It's right up, right up underneath there. I'll show you, since you didn't get to see it. It's up, damn it. It's up behind here. So, we're gonna unplug that, just like that. We're gonna, Take this clip off of here. In fact, I'm just gonna pull it out for now. Uh, maybe. Anyway, you get the idea. But what I did was I took the cap off the brake fluid off the master cylinder. So I'm just gonna take a C-clamp and I'm gonna push this all the way in. Now this is a dual piston. It's got two pistons in it instead of just the one. So now sometimes it'll get both of them if you just do one, but I like to make sure 
that we got both both of them pressed back in better for it's easier assembly uh-oh stuck there all right okay so now I can either take take this off and then this piece or I can take them both both off just together but what I got to do is I'm gonna check these brake pads they look like they're they're pretty good so I'm gonna check them if they're still good we're not going to replace them probably so <coughs> Oh, wrong ratchet. Let's see. I can use this. Watch your ears, guys, if you got your headphones in. Eat the right size. It's T50. T55. Well, yeah, it is. T55. All right. Here we go. So these, take these hex things. I don't know. And you guys didn't see any of that. <laughs> what I did was, they take the hex, the Torx. So T55, I took it out of the bottom here. And I'm going to take this up here. I'm going to set it up there like that. Let's check these pads. As you can see, these pads are in great shape. Uh, I'll have to check the other side. But if she don't need pads, then she's not going to have to worry about the pads. Uh, since she's got the rotors, I am going to put some rotors on here because there is a little grooving from the last time she had this done. So, uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece off now. Yeah, thought I could get by with that, but. Ah! Now I'm just gonna set this up in here for now. I gotta go get a piece of wire. I don't like to leave them hang on the lines. And I gotta get me a, a, a socket that'll fit these two bolts. There's one up here and one down here. And you take them off. And this piece will come off. It's got to. It's got to come off anyway. So I do have this thing on jack stands. This is very heavy automobile. So that's the noise she was hearing. <laughs> so, and behind here is a. Uh, let me set this up here now. Up behind here is three bolts that I'm going to take out and that whole assembly should come out. Now a lot of times you may have to beat and hammer but sometimes they come out real easy. So let me go ahead and get my sockets. Well I got some sockets right here. I don't know if they'll fit. Ugh. Let me see what size they are. Anchor metric. I will probably have to go get my metric my metric set. This might work. Hang on. I'm using a three quarter here. Sorry, guys. Okay, yeah, three quarter. Take that out. Take that out. Okay. Now, move this out of the way. Now, there's three bolts on the back of here. I'll take you off and show you what they look like. One here, one over here, and one right down there. Okay. So, I'm going to 
So, I want to see if those will come out. And if they will, I'll just pop this whole thing off of there. Okay, guys, I got to do this again. Now, I went ahead and I unplugged this. It's the ABS sensor. I've had this out of here once, but I wasn't recording. So, <laughs> what you're going to want to do, this will fall out now, but what you're going to want to do, just tap that out. Just like that. This one came out that easy the first time. Now sometimes, like I said, they get all they get all gooped up. Oh, it's heavy. They get all gooped up in here and they're real hard to get out. You just gotta beat the hell out of it. Be real careful if you gotta reuse that thing so you don't damage it. Now just clean this out and you put the new one in. Now I'm gonna show you what what this issue is with this one uh, as soon as she gets she went to go get one it'll be a couple hours yet but see this bearing see like that bearing there is laying on its side it should look like the one next to it uh, so it's bad now these things sometimes they come with this with your ABS sensor if they don't that's just like a I don't know what it is. Just a little Allen head of bolt. Just Allen head of bolt. Take it out. Sometimes these are stuck in there. You got to be real careful or they'll break because they're plastic. So I don't know if it's got a new one or not. I'm just going to wait. But that's all there is to it. There's those three bolts I was telling you about. So there it is. Now as soon as she gets back... We're going to throw this back together and we'll have one side done. Okay guys, I got this pretty well cleaned up. Nice and neat. It don't have to be perfect, but if you've got any anything on here that might not let it go on straight, you want to get that off, but this one's pretty decent. So now we're going to put this, you think this is heavy. Uh, see this one's got the cap on the back I was telling you about earlier that one don't let's go ahead and this goes down through the center of that that wire <clears throat> goes, on, goes on like this just like that now we're going to Slide that in there, just like that. <coughs> now, we're going to get one of our bolts started. And grab our own bolt. <laughs> Here it is. I had to go over and tell the damn neighbors to turn his fucking music down. He was inside the house, and he's got a plan outside in his shed right there at the fence oh thank you for being so nice I wasn't real nice but damn I'm tired of it every time I go to film you know all right now we're going to go ahead and bolt this up now this is going to come up and over gets hooked on there see this up here That right there, I could have went ahead and pulled out like I was going to, because it's already got the plastic pieces on it. Sometimes they don't. So, go ahead and pull this out. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and just pull that out like that. This goes inside of here, like this. Oh, you're not seeing it. See? side there it just clips in there all 
There it is. Clip in. There's one up here at the top. After you plug it in, it's got a hole up there at the top. Same thing with with all of them. It'll go up here. This one will go here. Just like that. Still a piece of this one stuck down in there. So. And then this will get, I'll have to dig that out because it doesn't, yeah, it just clear through. So anyway, this one's going to get clipped here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tighten these down. And then uh, I'll show you how to put the rotor on. Okay, guys, now we're going to go ahead and throw this rotor on here. Just like that. When you take these off, sometimes they'll have this on. Sometimes they won't. This one had it on. I'm just going to go ahead and push that back on there. It, it's not necessary. You don't have to because the wheel will hold that on. Now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put our mount back on here. Just the upper and lower bolt. Just like that. I was going to put new brake pads on, but these pads are still at about 90%. So I'm just going to reuse these ones. Normally I don't, but if it had been down about 75%, I wouldn't. But these, like I said, they're about 90% left. So. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna replace them. Watch your, your little squealer there. When you get the squeal and your brakes make that little noise, that little metal tab right there is what causes that. Where you at, right there? And that's put on there on purpose to let you know that you're getting down to where you're going to need brake pad or brake yeah brake pad so that one let's see looks like this one was on the piston so I'm going to put it back the way the way it was on there just like that put this one up here like this Like that. Now, we're going to put our caliper back on. I didn't have to wire this up because it sat right there perfectly. So that way it wasn't hanging. And okay. Now, a little bit of grease right here, this brake grease. I've actually seen guys put it on here. You don't put it on there. Um, these go on here onto your bolts um, if you notice if you guys have done this before sometimes this brake grease is white um, you can use Vaseline on these things it doesn't take a lot it just keeps it from just keeps it from uh, well like I say making noises and stuff you can also put a little bit up here Right there at the contact points 
it just takes takes a little bit just like that that's really all you need to do now where's the bottom one there it is then clean your rotor off real good because some of them have a coating a protective coating that's sprayed on there this one does not so There we go. And I'm going to tighten these down. And then that rotor will line up once you put your wheel back on. And uh find my ratchet here. Like I said, these are 55. T55s. And tighten these two down and you're pretty much done well for one side other side I'm just going to check it I don't think I'll have to pull it apart I just pull the wheel off and look at it and uh, look at the brakes um, they should be all right if not I'll go ahead and put new brakes on both sides so She's also wanting an oil change, rear pads put on, uh, temperature gauge is not working. I know what that is. It's the uh, plug. The plug's broke on it. So, and there you guys go. That's it. No grease and no, no nothing. There it is. All right. So, all we got to do is put the wheel on. And we'll set the brakes up. That's when you just uh, pump them up till you get a good pedal and they're set up. So no bleeding. You don't have to bleed the brakes because you didn't have the caliper off. So, all right. All right, let's put the wheel on. Okay guys, so there you go. That's the wheel bearing assembly on a 2003-2004 right in that area. I'm not exactly sure what years, but there's several different years. It's identical to this. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that's how you do it. It was going to be a brake job, but the next video we'll be doing the rear brakes on this thing. Um, they're a little different from the front, but... They're still pretty easy. Um, so, yeah, that's it. It was going to be a brake, brake job, but I checked the other side. Brake pads are just fine on there, too, so I'm not even going to pull them. Um, she can either take these back or keep them, you know, for when she needs them. She'll already have them, so um, they're not real expensive. But, uh, like I said, normally, if it was down to 75 or 80, I would consider putting them on, but... There's still 90% left on here. I can't see her putting them on yet. So, you know, um, it should be all right now. Um, in fact, I may, she's got another rotor. I may just go ahead and replace the other rotor on the other side. I think I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll just do a video on that. Of course, you already seen it on here, but you've seen a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I'll make a video on that. That way, if you just have to change the rotor, you'll see. You'll see what it involves. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.